squirrel with a gun. Isn't that an utterly insane concept for a video game, right? Like that's just, <laughs> it's ridiculous. And guess what? This game is just as ridiculous as it might seem. Actually, even more so. Uh, I could say I've definitely been entirely uh, impressed by how how much they utterly like just just how much the developers just embrace the insanity of the idea of a squirrel with a gun it's not just um anyways hi guys i i this is a this is a new game that has just released only uh at the as of today, only a few few days ago it released. I think it was August 29th is when it released of this year, 2024. So um, yeah, this is, um, I, I, heard it, I heard it got it released. It's been on my wish list for a couple of years. I don't know how many of you guys have actually heard of Squirrel with a Gun, but um, it's been on, it had been on my wish list for a couple of years. I had it saved, kind of forgot about it. And then I got a notification saying it had released and I was like, you know what? I definitely want to check this game out. I definitely want to try it. And so I got it and man, this is, Oh, it is just so insanely crazy, insanely crazy. And the thing is, you guys aren't even really gonna be seeing um, really any footage that is really, like, I would say uh, a lot of it's more earlier mid-game uh, kind of footage. So you're, you guys aren't even gonna be seeing the most insane, crazy stuff um, on, uh, during the footage and everything like that. So uh, let's get into the game a little bit more. Um, so firstly, obviously, Squirrel with a Gun is a really insane concept. It starts off um, with a, uh, I don't know if I have any uh, footage recording of, uh, of the beginning of the, of the game, but basically it starts off, a, a Squirrel thinks this computer chip is a golden acorn, and so he's trying to get it. And so this little tutorial level, um, it took me a while to get around to get through it, but I think it definitely did its job because without having to tell me exactly what to do or to you know put any uh, indicators up it, it taught me all the mechanics of the game and taught me how to play the game um, before I could get out of the room and so I give that a big thumbs up um, good big thumbs up for the developers there um, really smart design it uses the tutorial levels to kind of teach you how to play the game it is a it is kind of really fidgety um, with the controls um, like your squirrel is very very light and so he will fly off in different directions and so things don't like the physics just aren't quite what you would normally expect them to be so it does take a lot of time to get used to but i can assure you it does you en you do end up getting used to them and um and it does become a lot easier to control uh your squirrel later on as you kind of figure it out a little bit more um but i will say like the controls are just kind of a little bit weird a little bit uh fidgety i did have a lot of trouble um, with the car just because like the, the kind of the way it speeds and the control of the car just wasn't fantastic for me it is kind of a little bit of, uh, and like it, it'll it'll fly around like really easily um, so it's kind of it's kind of really hard to get that adjustment just correctly especially when you need to line that up um, to get going places um, but otherwise uh, yeah, the story I you know there's not really much of a story with this game it's, um, th there is a little bit of something. You have a couple of boss fights. Um, the first one being father and then mother. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, that's, that's just the, uh, the ASDSF. Uh, I, think, I think that's what, uh, what it's called, but uh, where it's. I think we should just be friends. Mother. Like that's just, that's just the thing that goes into my mind when I think of, uh, when, it, when he's called father. Um, so that's just kind of the funny little bits there um but it is like you're, you're going around you're, you've got a little in this little neighborhood that you're going around getting some of the acorns and whatnot and then like i, w I really didn't really expect there to be soup like very much going on and then you and then you get introduced to father and i was just like what what is this like you know like i mean you i mean that, that just up to the insanity because yeah then all of a sudden you have a tank come at you blowing you up and you're like whoa what's this going on um, so you've got a couple of different areas. You start off in one, uh, one bit of the neighborhood, and then after your boss fight with Father, you open up a second part of the neighborhood. And then um, you can also get a third part, which is like a water park, which is super cool with a, with a giant tower. Um, I saw it in the background and I was like, I'm very certain that this water, that this tower here, you can definitely visit that. 
and um, it, you get to it uh, towards the end of the game, um, the last section, uh, you get there, and it is quite cool. Now, um, I will say uh, a lot of the gameplay, um, it is you know it, it is a mix of different things. Um, obviously, you've got your squirrel with a gun, but also there is um, some different platforming um, things going on. Um, it is kind of puzzle based. Uh, you got you have these acorns, and you have to try to figure out how to get that acorn. Um, there were some. I wasn't. There was a couple of acorns I wasn't able to get, mainly because I just couldn't figure out like what it is that you're supposed to do. Um, and well, actually, there's two acorns I don't think I was able to get because um, you're supposed to go down water slides. And when I went down those water slides, they threw like I got I got ejected out the water slide, and they're like full tube water slides. So that was that. It's definitely a glitch kind of thing. Um, but yeah, I, I kept going down the water slide and. I think once one of them, I, I got through it a couple of times, but you have to hit the acorn. And I was like halfway up this way when I was supposed to be down the center. And so I missed the acorn every time, but I kept getting thrown out of the, um, cause you're going like really fast. And so it just, I don't know, you just clip through and you just fly out. And so it's trying to get that acorn was really super difficult. Um, there's another one where uh, you're supposed to go down uh, a blue water slide and I just kept getting thrown out. again getting clipped just clipping out of that water slide and just getting ejected out of it um, so that made it super super difficult and I, I wasn't even I, I think that was the la like, I just had to get through it once and I would have completed it but I was not able to do that so um, and then there was like a third acorn which I just don't know what I was supposed to do there and it was uh, it was like a pole one um, where there's like a uh, like a strip of pole kind of thing. So as I was editing the video, um, I went to get some footage of the three issues of the acorns that I was having. And I did figure out how to get the pole acorn. Um, you, you gotta, you gotta move to the, like the, the people that are doing certain actions and you gotta move to that. And that's what got the acorn. So <laughs> I didn't get the footage that I wanted to get, but I did get the acorn. So that's fun. Um, really, so there, there's a couple of those where, and like as of right now, I, as far as I could tell, I couldn't find anything online about, um, about these acorns, like how to figure them out. So it is a little bit difficult because, again, you know, I don't, I don't think people have really made any um, guides on this game yet. So trying to figure this stuff, you literally do have to figure everything out yourself. Um, so trying to, trying to get through that, kind of really difficult. But... Um, yeah, and then the boss fights, they, they, are, they are a little bit more difficult just because one small thing can just throw you off, you know. Um, I've been, like, I've died, you know, there was one boss fight I had to do, like, a ton of times because I kept just flying off the edge or whatever. Like, an explosion would just yeet me off and I'm dead, you know. There's nothing, not really much I could do or, um, you know, I get thrown, like, I just get thrown off a platform because I'm just so incredibly light and there's no way to save yourself, so. Um, I, so there, there was, I think I spent about 12 hours in the game in total. So the whole, um, pretty much mostly completing the game, doing a lot of the extra stuff, getting most of the achievements, but um, really cost me about 12 hours of play time. So um, for this game, I'd say, you know, that's, for an indie game, I think that's pretty good. Um, that's not too bad. Uh, it's not like super, super short. It's uh, not super long either. Um, I think it stays kind of just the right, um, right level and everything. And uh, it is kind of janky. It is kind of... Uh, fidgety, so um, you know I did have to take some breaks and whatnot when playing through the game. It's not really something I felt like I could just play through the entire time. Um, and then also like the vehicle, there's some vehicles in there. Um, you've got a little speedboat, a little car, and then you've got a little drone towards the end. Um, which uh, the drone is definitely obviously my favorite because it allows you to actually navigate places a little bit easier, um, so you don't have to use whatever janky mechanics to uh, get into a certain area. That you were supposed to get to um so yeah and uh yeah just overall it's a really fun game um it, the insanity is just mind mind boggling it's just it's just so funny um you've got these little little things that is just the utter absurdity of what's going on and you've got a ton of different guns it's not like you just have this pistol or whatever um you've got a couple different smgs um one just the, I think there's the bigger difference is the the size of the clip really. You've got shotgun, you've got a six, uh, a revolver, a six shooter, um, you've got a sniper rifle, you've got a grenade launcher, you've got a rocket launcher. Like you've got like this whole package of 
um, different types of guns that you can use. Um, and it's, it is just really funny, especially, especially some of the takedowns. Um, I think I've got a couple of takedowns recorded, um, and so I can show you here. Uh, they're, just, they're just the most ridiculous things you can think of. Um, so I think, I think the developers of this did a really fun job, really good job with the game. Definitely, definitely recommend um, playing this game. If you, just, if you want a, a fun, lighthearted game to kind of pass the time a little bit, you know, uh, nothing too big, nothing too, uh, nothing too, too much to get invested into, just a, a fun little indie game to have some fun with for a weekend. This is definitely a game to check out. Absolutely recommend it. Go check out the game. Um, and I, th I think that'll do it for me today. Uh, if you guys want to see any more uh, videos, uh, I'm doing some video game reviews and uh, maybe some movie reviews as well. Um, so if you guys want to check any of that, I've got some more stuff on the channel or you can subscribe and see when I've got new stuff coming out. So uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, ciao.